Hello, hello everyone. I warmly welcome you back to this edition of our positive word. Thank you for joining me. The excuse. You know, when people appear before a judge in a court of law, they usually give them the opportunity to defend themselves, give an explanation, say things that might justify why they had engaged in behaviors that took them to the court. I've seen a lot of episodes from Judge Capri and it, it, some of them are hilarious and, and people are, are given the opportunity that they tend to say why they violated traffic laws and they found themselves before his court. And that's a great thing. The excuse I'm looking at today is when we land at the feet of the Lord God, when we find ourselves before God, what excuse has anyone got that would be tenable, that would be justified for why they rejected Jesus, for why they rejected God? We have been told in Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the world, the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Let me read that from the easy translation. A person may get everything in the whole world for himself, but if he loses his life, it will not be any good for him. There is nothing that a person can give back to get his life. There is no excuse. What have you got to say? What's your plan? What's your line of defense when you have lived your life here outside of God's will for you? What's the, what's, what's the reason you would give for why you rejected Jesus Christ? We are told in Romans chapter 2 verse 16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. In the day the secrets of men. We will all be judged. I don't know what excuse you are planning or intending to give if you do not know God. Some of the excuses or reasons I've heard people say talk about they presented when they were asked they asked why they rejected God in Christ Jesus some of the excuse, excuses include that my pastor told me that I could work out my salvation my pastor told me all sorts of things I was angry with God at all the suffering in the world God did not come to save me or my loved one when I called on him for help I could not be bothered because I thought that I am God myself. I did not believe there was God. I thought I could not associate with a being who made evil to exist in the world. I could not associate with one who allowed women and children to suffer, who led sickness to be in the world. My dear friend, none of these, whatever else you plan to use, will be acceptable when you stand before your creator someday. There'll be no excuse that would be good enough. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 has said that, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. You might see yourself as a righteous, good person because you do not commit crimes. You do not do things that the world would judge as bad. That cannot take you to heaven. We have all sinned. We have to repent and come to Christ. That's the only way God has prepared for us to be saved. And we're told in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, For the wages of sin is death. Yes, that sin we have committed. The result is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank God we only, we're not only given the wages of sin. God made the provision. 
eternal life through Christ. Some excuses or reasons might be tenable before an earthly judge, but none will be good enough when you land at the feet of the Almighty God. He made the provision as we're told in John chapter 3 verse 16. Love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Whoever, you included, my friend, everyone is covered. It doesn't matter what you have done. Just believe. Receive and believe in Jesus Christ. It's that simple. No ceremony is needed. He will guide you to live as he desires for you, my friend. There will be no excuse that day, my dear brother, my dear sister. There will be no excuse. It doesn't matter what you're planning to say. Your knees will bow before this God. Stop wasting time. Come to Jesus and leave. I pray that God will help those who do not know him or those who know him but are living outside of his will to surrender and begin to walk in the light of the truth of his word through Jesus Christ. Amen.